Swamp Swamp here, and welcome to my next Let's Play, Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, I know that basically this is a little out of the ordinary for me, considering that when I do games in a, in a series, I tend to go in chronological order. I tend to basically go with the first game, then to the second game, and then to the third game. But for, for the sake, for, in the case of Luigi's Mansion, I decided to basically take things, handle things a little differently because I am never going to be doing the second game. This is a, a this is an established decision. I don't want to do the second Luigi's Mansion game purely because I am not the biggest fan of it. I don't like how the missions are formatted. I don't like how the story is, basic, the pacing of the story. I feel that it's a relatively blander entry into the Luigi's Mansion game. Not to mention, if you want to actually get everything, which basically you don't really get a good reward for getting everything, just you feel, basically, you have to comb over the mansions with a fine-tooth comb with basically a dark light that just runs out of battery so fast. But anyways, enough negativity. Let's get started with Luigi's Mansion 3. Anyways, I tried to record this game earlier. However, when I was basically making a comment about Luigi's Mansion 3, it resulted in me accidentally bumping my Wii. Uh, sorry, my Switch. Yes, I've down. I devolved my system into a Wii. Basically, my Switch turned into a Wii. It's like that one scene out of Ben 10, uh, Alien Force, where basically Ben was trying to get more powerful to fight Vilgax, and so he's trying to tamper with the Omnitrix, and so the Omnitrix. The Omnitrix actually downgrades into the OG version. It's like that. Yes, I dis Luigi's Mansion 3, so it turned my Switch into a Wii. But anyways, let's get started with the story. Yeah, as you can tell. I basically tried to start playing the game three minutes in. I basically lose it because, well, bump, bump the switch. This is what happens when you bump a switch. Okay. Hey, Chitanda. Basically, sorry for the interruption earlier. I had to basically, I had to stop OBS and then restart OBS to get things up and running. So I had to cut off the recording. But hey, you get to see the beginning of the game. Yeah, one thing I like about this game is basically Mario, when he goes on vacation with Peach, he gets a plane, he gets a tropical island. Luigi goes on vacation with Mario and Peach, he gets a bus, and they go to the middle of nowhere, basically. This is Luigi's punishment for being a third wheel. Yes, and they put Red Toe in charge of the bus. Uh, Peach? Who, did you, why did you put Red Toe in charge of driving the bus? Oh, Mario, he's fine. I am taking us off the cliff! Yeah, Luigi's rightfully terrified of the of the chaos of Red Toe driving a car. Yeah, though I do like it that they include Polterpup in this game. Polterpup was a pretty fun inclusion in the second Luigi's Mansion game, at least from a character standpoint. Yes, that yes, happy Polterpup. Happy Polterpup. Okay, just want to make sure, okay, my sound is actually operating well. Okay, yes, thank you. Yeah, complain about Dark Moon. Yeah, it's a fine game, but the mission layout wasn't the best, and having to return back to the library five minutes was annoying. Yeah, especially when there were, when there were plenty of transitions where basically it would have been better just to keep it as one mission. Where, for example, before the boss mission, you'd unlock the boss and then, move in, so you're going back to the lab! Though, you know what I find kind of odd? The fact that Mario has absolutely no luggage. Luigi has luggage, Peach has luggage, but yet, basically, Mario, no luggage. I guess Mario's just used to how, on his quest, he goes with just the clothes on his back, so he felt, hey, it's a vacation. I might as well do that here. So then, how does Mario sleep? Does Mario just sleep in the nude? That brings up a lot of questions in regards to what happens later in the game. Yes, uh, wow, yes, reviews of this hotel. Wowie zowie. Uh, yeah, imagine basically you're running a hotel and you put that as one of the guest quotes. Great service, great atmosphere, great everything. And then basically you get wowie zowie right below it. Oh, yeah. Now we need to have, uh, now we need Luigi's Mansion 3.5. Luigi goes to Hotel Dusk. I haven't played that game, to be honest, but basically I have heard the name before. 
Yeah, Mario. I'm I'm going to raid the buffet. I am going to I'm going to disregard the sneeze guard. Frankly, I could easily imagine Mario in an all you can eat buffet situation where basically Mario he disregards the entirety of the sneeze guard. He just goes right underneath the sneeze guard and then just starts sneezing on everything. I mean, look at this. Mario, he just grabs a piece of cake with his bare hands, with his unwashed gloves, and then just no plate. He's just eating it like an apple. Frankly, I could imagine Mario being the kind of guy where he would just rip one of the wings off the, he would rip one of the wings off that swan sculpture and just put the entire thing in his beverage. Have you seen any of the YouTube videos talk about the beta T-rated Luigi's Mansion game? I have actually seen bits and pieces of those videos. Essentially like how it was going to be a more, it was going to be a more, it was going to be a darker version of Pikmin essentially with it being a ti on a timer. And then there was that beta Luigi's Mansion game over screen where basically you got the Ben Drown version of Luigi where basically he's just staring at you like some Don Corleone face basically. That beta Luigi's Mansion game over face reminds me so much of Don Corleone like Luigi's going to go and become the godfather of the Mushroom Kingdom. Welcome to the last resort, home of the most memorable vacations ever had. What do you have to say, Peach? Hi. This hotel is so big, Luigi. It's gorgeously decorated, too. We're so lucky to have gotten an invitation to come here. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I love how Peach, basically. I love how Peach and Mario and Luigi, basically, they fall for the same trick twice. I like how, basically, King Boo managed to trick them both with the same trick twice. Where, basically, just, you would think Luigi and Mario, they'd be kind of reluctant with the whole, oh, hey, we got invited to this, this luxurious area in the middle of the woods. Maybe we should be a little hesitant after what happened in the, fir the first time this happened. And then, but imagine this. Imagine Luigi and Mario actually catch on to King Boo's plan. They don't even come. And then King Boo, he, he got all this stuff prepared. And he's just waiting there and nothing happens. Yeah, see these toads messing with the suitcase. Ah, Princess Peach definitely didn't forget the pancake thing. Oh, you think that's bad? You think that's bad, Yellow Toad? You should have seen my ex-wife. Toadette, she would have had, she would have, when we would go on vacations, she would have twice as much luggage, and half of it would be just designated to her shoes. And mind you, she wears the same exact pair of shoes. She has suitcase upon suitcase filled with the exact same pair of shoes. That should be my first red flag before we got married. Ah, Luigi, what's up? Ah, oh no, no you don't, Blue Toad. We have a suicide pact. If we are dying, we're all dying. If I have to live in this world with Toadette, then so do you. My head stuck, I can't get it out. Yeah, that game over screen, what, screen was very scary. Meanwhile, basically the game over screen, Luigi's Mansion was just simply, in the official game, it's just good night. So that game over screen in itself can be a little scary because just of how just good night as if basically Luigi he's just going to sleep. He's just sleeping. He's dead. Okay, let's talk to you. Non -sus non suspicious staff member who has no legs. It looks like you haven't checked in yet. Please make your way to the front desk. It's right over there. I like how the ghosts didn't even try to cover up the fact that they're floating, basically. They don't have socks, they don't have anything in the shoes, just floating pants. And Luigi, who spent two adventures beforehand seeing ghosts, he just disregards this. Please make yourself comfortable. Perhaps you'd like to save our selection of beverages. And then Mario just walks over, he just grabs a beverage, just he grabs that entire coffee pot, and then just shoves a, that a swan wing in it. Yeah, let's talk to you. What do you think of the hotel? We take pride in the luxury and splendor it offers. As well as the fact that our employees have no legs. They float in midair. And we have unblinking eyes. My apologies for the inconvenience, but the elevator is temporarily out of service. We shove it, it back in tip-top shape soon. Okay. Let's go and check into the hotel. Yes, take away your balloons. Okay, and we have here a map of the hotel. We get to see all of the, di the different rooms. We have the parking garage. We have the, the check-in area, kitchen, gift shop, music, 
bedrooms, castle, flower, movies, pillar, triangle, nary, the wind spirit from lost winds, crab, crab people, the crab people floor, gym, disco ball, and crown. Okay, let's check in now. Let's take all the breath mints that they have at the counter. Frankly, that should be the first red flag that about this place. Oh, here's Mario's luggage. When did Mario bring this luggage in? But just first red flag of this hotel. No complimentary mints at the counter. Even though I don't like mints, peppermint always burns the inside of my mouth. It's kind of odd seeing a hotel without complimentary mints. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to the last resort. Are you ready to check in? Why wouldn't I be ready to check in? What, what am I going to just loiter around the lobby for the next three hours? Thank you. Huh? Guests, welcome to the last resort. My name is Helen Gravely, and I am the owner of this hotel. I am absolutely delighted that you decided to accept my invitation. You don't see friends at hotels anymore very often. Well, I can kind of, I can kind of see why in recent times, given the whole scare with the pandemic. You all must be very tired. Come, allow me to show you to your rooms. Oh, no need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you are VIPs after all. We prepared a first-rate experience for you all. All the trappings of luxury. Shall we get going? Uh-huh. Let's go. Hey. Whoops. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, right, to Yeah, Toad. So you want to hear about the last thing about Toadette? What she's done to me? Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over here. We prepared rooms for you toads as well. It's called the broom closet. Go in it. We don't want you to dirty up our hotel. I hope you enjoy your stay. I dare say you'll remember for the rest of your lives. Ha ha ha. Yeah, meanwhile, King Bowie's just sitting in some secret surveillance area. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. They, they're actually falling for it. Even the red flag commentary. You know, seeing, seeing, Polter, seeing Polter Pooch do that, it kind of makes me wonder why they have elevators in this hotel, considering that pretty much everyone here is a ghost. Okay, everything is gold here. The gold suite. Yes, yeah, basically put that gold trim on everything. Okay, I thought we were interacting with the gift... Sorry, with the gift baskets. Yes, let's use the toilet. Okay, wait, wait, where's the flusher on this toilet? Is it on the right side of the toilet? Is it on the right side that we can't see? Or is it one of those automatic flushing toilets? I could easily imagine King Boo employing one of those in the room just to torture Luigi. Well, you know, one of those automatic toilets that basically you just look at it funny and it just starts flushing. Thumbs up. Jump scare Luigi, true boo fashion. Huh? Okay, nothing. Dead body. Yeah, I just yeah, watch out just even the in the lighthearted version of the hotel. Just have a dead body in the cupboard. Have Luigi arrested for, for manslaughter or murder. Time to rest. What the Pol yeah, Polter Pooch having his own dialogue. Time to rest, Luigi. You're going to bed, Luigi. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I love how it's clearly early. It's clearly mid-afternoon at latest, and just Luigi's going to bed. Yeah, I love how Luigi just packed along his 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 dark light and just just his dark light ready for ghost hunting. Or is this just the standard flashlight? I think it's just the standard flashlight. Yeah, it is the standard flashlight. We actually get the dark light a little later on in the game. Time for me to watch Playtoad! Luigi, it's early afternoon! 
But yeah, I know that feeling when you want to just read or just watch a video at night on a tablet, and then you just fall asleep immediately, and then you basically wake up and you're cut and you're cuddling your book and or tablet. Ah! Huh? 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 Oh no, the staff is robbing Peach's room! Hello? Da, 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 da. I love how Luigi didn't even bother to close the blinds. Yeah, I love how all the food just became rotten immediately. Just everything became horrific in this room. <laughs> yes, yeah, the fat Jack in the Box. Love how they replaced everything in the course of just the few hours that Luigi was asleep. Okay. Look behind the shower curtain, my classic fear in my youth, where I was afraid that something would pop out of me from my shower curtain. But still, that hand in the toilet, that would be legitimately disturbing. Imagine, you try to use that toilet, even with the thumbs up. Imagine, you, you sit down to do it, to basically do some business on the toilet, and then all of a sudden, just boom, a thumb comes up right, and hits you right where the sun doesn't shine. Do you know about the Luigi Mansion Creepy Pasta? You were telling another streamer you follow it about the other day. Uh, so, uh, no, I have not heard of any Luigi Mansion Creepy Pastas. Uh, do tell. Anyways, the balls of disappearing are going to come. Yeah, let's take half of Peach's items. Yeah, just the trash, oh. the laundry chute. Oh. Yeah, no oh. trash chute yet. Can't turn the flashlight off, can't do anything. Yeah, it's kind of weird, you know. And how after I play Luigi's Mansion 1 and not being able to turn the flashlight off? Mario! Oh, oh my. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Mario, what the heck? Why are you such a slob, Mario? I mean, pizza boxes all over the place. It's just soda cup. I could go for a soda right now, but I just brushed my teeth, so nah. Okay. Yeah, frankly, the scariest thing about this room so far is just Mario's lack of sanitation. And the fact that apparently Mario kept the window open. Yeah, then we find just a bunch of Mario's trash coming out of the cupboards. Yeah, frankly, I think the hotel staff, they were a little more nervous of Mario's, of Mario's sanitation ways than basically than he was of them. You know Luigi's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, the phone room where you see the hanging Luigi. Yeah, that one was definitely out of the blue, though... From what I heard, just that was actually part of the game's code, and just it's just a shot, a coincidence with the shadow. Oh, oh, oh my. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, Peach having a having a having a meltdown in the room, pissed off that no one's carrying her her stuff fast enough. Okay, yeah, the hot coffee is just it's still hot, it's warm. Okay, so Peach has her, is that a book? Okay, I think that's a ledger. Yeah, that's a ledger. I thought for a second that was a pizza box. I'm like, okay, Peach has her own pizza brand. Yeah, she's making Mario buy off brand. That or her pizza is not the best bread. You know, you would think that basically King Boo would want all the Jack in the Boxes put in Luigi's room just because of all the times Luigi has screwed him over in the past. Okay. Yeah, I love how the ghost is using the elevator. It brings up a lot of questions. I mean, does it take energy to go through walls? Well, 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 if it isn't my most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Is your room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? And then King Boo just comes out of nowhere. What the hell, Helen? I did not hire you to be cracking horrible puns. Only my subordinates are allowed to have the, have the cheesy puns. That's our job. Oh, I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted you ex to accept my invitation. And then back to my previous point. What if Luigi and Mario were actually were actually learned from Luigi's Mansion 1 and they didn't accept the invitation? Just what would Helen and King Boo be doing? Just sitting around? Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. Ha ha ha, you see. There is someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas. Like inviting you 
Yeah, Love Out Helen's just outright saying, yeah, you know what? I stole this plan from King Boo. It, it may have not worked the first time, but it worked halfway. I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful that I get to introduce him to you. That's right, Luigi. I hope you're ready. What the hell, Helen? You think I'm being introduced? I know this asshole. He shoved me in a painting. Have you ever been in Egad's lab? That guy does some crazy crap off the cuff. He basically, have you ever heard of Boo Annan? He created that. And he has some pretty messed up theories on there. <laughs> Surprise, Luigi. It's a me, King Boo. The old coot had me locked up tight in his lab. But good thing he had another garage sale, Luigi. He sold me to some guy for 99 cents. But guess what? I got out again. The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me. So she busted me out. Pretty lucky, huh? She had a trope. She bought me for 99 cents. Anyways, I didn't think you'd actually show up here. I was ready, though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. So then why did you go along with the plan? Were, were you just banking on Luigi just not coming, but just this was the pleasant surprise? You were like, maybe you'll fall for it again. Deuce, deuce, deuce. What do, what do I mean by vengeance? Glad you ask. Okay, dip crap. Here's a little rundown in case you haven't played the first two Luigi's Mansion games. Though I don't blame you for not playing the second one. I'm trapping you and everyone in your little vacation party in frames. That's right. If I'm recycling plans, then I'm recycling plans. I'm going all the way, Luigi. I'm going all the way. Helen loves King Boo. That is an understatement. You definitely prefer King Boo's in Luigi's Magic Games. He looks way cooler and doesn't look like just a large boo with a crown. Though, speaking of King Boo in the Luigi's Mansion games, it's basically a fascinating theory that I've heard about him is that basically in the Luigi's Mansion games, King Boo is actually the ghost of Bowser. Because basically in the first Luigi's Mansion game, just for one thing, King Boo takes on Bowser's form. And then basically, and then Madame Clairvoya mentions how she feels Bowser's presence in the mansion. Even though the only time we see him is when King Boo takes on his form. And not to mention just King Boo talks about all the times that Mario screwed him over. Oh, there's Luigi. It's all the over soon. It's ready for family reunion. Booyah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Take that. We tore up your letter. Now you will get no discount at the buffet, Luigi. Oh, and there's one more frame, of course. I saved it especially for you. Stay right there and put on your best terrified face, Luigi. This is game over. Yeah, I love how basically Luigi knows that there are illusions, but yet basically he's just not even going to try to open the doors. Why am I moving so slow? I'm a ghost, for God's sake! Don't worry, Luigi, I'll paint you like a sexy French woman. And then I like how King Boo doesn't even follow Luigi down into the basement or wherever the, the garbage chute goes. He just, he just sits there. He's not going to the laundry chute. He's not going anywhere. He's just gonna let Luigi do whatever. Luigi's Mansion 3. You don't believe that. You read the fanfiction about, of Luigi's Mansion as told by King Boo. Yeah, like I was saying, it's just a theory. But it's a theory that makes sense. I mean, it's kind of odd that we never see any reference to Bowser outside that in Luigi's Mansion games.
Yeah, I just love how they have a stack of money and a gold bar right in the laundry room. Just open in the laundry room. Just gotta have that gold bar and that pile of money just right there in the laundry room. Okay, let's get out. Try to get our vacuum. Yeah, can't do anything with that gem just yet. Okay. Hold the pup. Give him Luigi a heart attack. One jump scare at a time. Kind of odd that they don't give you 100 health. They give you 99 health. I guess basically Luigi has 99 problems, but health isn't one of them. Yes, fight in the parking garage. What? Yeah, I love how Egad came here. Lu Egad basically what? got an invite too. Egad fell for the same trick as Mario and Luigi in Luigi's Mansion 1. Here he is calling out Luigi for falling for that trick in Luigi's Mansion 1, and then basically falls for 2. Oh. I'm gonna break into Egad's car, see all his stuff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love how Luigi's in, even even questioning why Egad is here in the first place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Luigi, doing your happy dance. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. I'm sorry. I'll I'll use the vacuum properly. Yeah, we gotta flash Luigi's dog. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta suck up Luigi's dog into the vacuum. Going into the vacuum again, Polterpup. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so then just misting Polterpup. Give him a nice misting. And jumping with the vacuum. The first Luigi's match game where you can actually jump. Comfortable with what you've learned, Luigi? Okay, let's go. Let's get going. Let's fight our first boss, I believe. Or maybe basically we have... Yeah, I think we actually have to wait until we meet Ega in order to fight the first boss. Yeah, there's our first... Oh, wait, no, this is just a plain flashlight. Uh -huh. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I'm kind of having to relearn this game because, admittingly enough, I haven't been playing this game all that often. Basically, it's one of those games where I played it, but then basically just other games pop up, and then just before I know it, just... Okay, I was not expecting Luigi to run that fast, to be honest. I have to, I have to get used to this game again. Yeah, Luigi running at the speed of light. Come on, into the vacuum, mousy. Okay. Okay, let's open up the garage. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, can't get out. God, no. Luigi, why are you running so fast when there's an enemy nearby? Okay, let's get, let's clean up the parking garage. Yeah, clean up King Boo's parking garage. Yeah, King Boo owns 51% of the stock here. This is his version of Hotel Transylvania. Okay. Yeah, let's get some money. Every toolbox needs a bunch of money in it. All right, right, right. Yeah, we're going to need another item in order to basically deal with that. And well, let's just grab all this money. Yeah, Luigi's taking the philosophy of stealing everything that isn't nailed down in a hotel to the to the extreme. I can just imagine Luigi. Yeah, just they should have where in this game you could get money by basically just taking the batteries out of the remote controls. You remember the OG's Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, same here. Luigi's Mansion 1, just you can't go wrong with the classic. I, I really like the flow of that game, you know, because just the, the general feeling of going to the mansion one room at a time and basically just conquering the mansion, just lighting it up. Though I, I like how this game has that with the floors, you know, with e you basically go to a floor and each floor feels like its own mini chapter, especially since they added, added portrait ghosts. 
Unlike in Luigi's Mansion 2, where basically there were no portrait ghosts. Okay, steal all this money, all this beautiful money. Okay, come on, let's... Yeah, take all the money out of this, wa out of this washing machine, nice. Yeah, when it comes to Luigi's Mansion 1, I like the whole feeling of the mansion, where basically, you, the more money you get, the better the mansion. Though I don't like how in the DS version, the 3DS version of Luigi's Mansion 1, you can get the the perfect mansion, the s rank mansion on the first playthrough. You have to actually treat it like the, it's treated like the power version in wow. that basically it, you have to do a new game plus in order to get the s rank mansion. Not to mention, if you're playing Luigi's Mansion 3DS on a classic 3DS, it's kind of hard because, sorry, sorry, just burped there, you don't have a camera. The atmosphere was so incredible. Not to mention, you had the the OG Luigi's Mansion theme. Da 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 da. Okay, nice. Let's nothing. We're missing there. Okay, let's flash this door open. Yeah, hello, E got souped up the hotel. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the money tree. Okay, let's grab the, all the money off this money bush. Nice. Yeah, though I do, though I have to say that one thing I love about this game is the addition of Guigi. Basically, when I first played this game, I was actually a little nervous with Guigi, but as the game goes on, Guigi actually feels more feels really good, you know? I really like the puzzles that they do with Guigi. No, we don't have Guigi just yet. We just have snacks. Just take all the snacks in the vending machine. Okay, nice. Go behind here. Let's get our next gem. Or right, that's not a gem. That is just a bunch of gold. A bunch of gold bars. Imagine, Luigi gets $1,000, and then basically he just leaves the mansion. Screw this, I have $1,000. Good luck, Mario. Save yourself, Mario. You're dead to me, Mario. Money, no! I'm not gonna leave money behind. That's good money. I swear, I love how my frugality even kicks in in Luigi's Mansion, where even when I'm not actively buying stuff, I'm like, I need that money! Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing a 100% run of this game. Just because I... Just because you don't really get anything good for the 100%. I think you may get a better mansion. But in the end, I don't think that's worth just me going on a scavenger hunting game every last item. Not to mention, the fun with Luigi's Mansion games is more or less just going through and just sucking up the ghosts and just having a good time overall. And not to mention, just enjoying Luigi in a horror situation. Could you imagine Luigi in an actual horror game like Resident Evil or, or Silent Hill? Just Luigi would be having a breakdown. Luigi goes in the Resident Evil universe and he has to deal with Chris Redfield wanting him to get, trying to hook him up with Claire. Yeah, take everything they own in the hotel. Their property is not ours. Yeah, look at they have an actual hit list on the on the board. Uh, in the lobby. Who needs a checklist when you have just giant portraits on wooden planks? Yes, and they're using power tools. The ghosts have evolved. They got a they got a primo membership at Home Depot. Okay, ghost combat time. Anyways, I really like how they handled the ghost combat in this game, where basically you just you take the ghost down and then basically you can just slam them into the ground. I like how in the first two the first two Luigi's Mansion games, Luigi he just fishes with the ghost essentially. This game, Luigi just goes full on co Mortal Kombat. He's just slamming the ghost's heads into the ground. Yeah, but really, I do like how they handled the vacuum in this game. Particularly with just how, basically, it's much better, in my personal opinion, than Luigi's Mansion 2. And not to mention, just you get the, the pull, you know? 
where basically you take the ghost down and then basically you just slam them into each other. Just just kill the ghosts by just slamming them into the into the floor. I never get tired of that. Yeah, it just feels so fun and fulfilling. And not to mention just whittling them down and then waiting for that perfect time to just unleash the smasher on them. Pumpkin! Yeah, perfect for Halloween. Though when it comes to when it comes though when it gets close to Halloween, I do actually have a horror themed game planned. Yeah, too bad Mario didn't get a chance to get this ice sculpture. Or is that just a statue? I think that may just be a statue. Okay, let's head on behind the counter. Crack open the safe. Ooh. Well, there's a YouTube video where, it, where it's Luigi's Mansion, but it's actually scary. Did you hear about the Hagrid die today? Uh, Hagrid from Harry Potter, in which case that is sad. I mean, I never basically, I never, to be honest, I never watched any of the Harry Potter films or any of the, uh, the books, but Hagrid seemed like a pretty cool character, you know? So just to know that the actor died, that's, it's, it's sad, you know? It's always sad to hear someone like that passing, you know? It kind of leaves a bit of a hole in your heart, you know? Okay, let's see what's behind the behind the mail room. Okay, give me my gem. Okay, we have to actually press the X button to take the gem. And now we're just gonna rob the hotel of all its money. Yeah, the police aren't coming here, so might as well just take all the money. It's our money. Okay, I swear, when it comes to the jumping mechanic, just... It kind of throws you off a little, where you think, oh, hey, I have to knock that key off the hook. Though, when it comes to key collecting, I prefer the key collection jingle from Luigi's Mansion 1. It feels so triumphant, that da 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 Especially in the ice room when you're actually sliding around. Yeah, prank call Luigi. Joke's on you. King Boo's gonna have to pay for those roaming charges. Yeah, let's see how funny you, how much you're laughing when King Boo has, when your boss has to pay those roaming charges and he takes it out on your ass. Oh, the box is the greatest weapon of King Boo that he has against us. All oh, right, right, right. Okay, take down the toad painting. Yeah, take down the toad painting first. Take down everyone but Luigi. Okay, next one. Luigi painting. Yeah, just a few coins. Nice. Okay. Let's get another pumpkin. Nice, we have just enough pumpkins to pull this off. Okay. Yeah, love how that love how that dog how Polterpup is just sitting there waiting for us. Waiting very patiently for us. Okay, boom. I like how they have a reticle when you're aiming stuff with the with the poltergust. It feels really handy. Just being able to know, hey, I'm actually gonna hit the object, you know? Okay, let's grab this last pumpkin. And take down the last one. Okay, say your prayers, Peachhead. Come on. No, controller. No, come on. No, Luigi, don't turn around. Good, good. I swear, my controller is gonna be the bane of my existence one of these days, just taking me down. Because sometimes my controller loves to go down for some odd reason. I think, I think it's just because I have a dead spot in my... Actually, no, I know why. I know exactly why. It's just that my pro controller has a weird dead spot right in the center when you're pressing up. And sometimes it just likes to go down. Okay, we got a gap in the wall. Huh? Yeah, I love how calm Luigi is putting in a key in a lock this time around. Basically, Luigi has no hesitation this time around. This isn't his first rodeo. Oh my gosh, it's so hideous! Wait, you thought those pumpkins only appeared on Halloween? Well, apparently they don't. It was sad to hear about it. Good to see Harry Potter cast honoring him, though. Yeah, and then just watch how J.K. Rowling basically goes to the funeral and then just comes up with some Hagrid cannon changes. 
Hagrid was actually a beaver all along. The guy that we saw as Hagrid was just an illusion. He was actually a he was actually a beaver. He was a possum. He was a possum in a beaver in a trench coat. Yeah, I can't take Egat off the wall. Okay. Yes, guy is Polterpup. Yeah, I love how Polterpup knows everything about what's going on here. It's as if Polterpup is basically controlling the entire story. Polterpup is the ma true mastermind behind the series. Okay. They have a pimp coat, standard outfits. Take all their money. Who needs mo who needs base who needs friends when you can steal money? Okay. Big gold bag. Yeah, taking this. Oh yeah, love that, love that. Love the feeling of collecting all that money. Wait, was that money or grass? Okay, well it seemed to be a little bit of money. Okay, and the old mirror trick from Luigi's Mansion 1. Where in Luigi's Mansion 1 you had the Game Boo, which that was a that was a cool thing, where basically just you were able to use the Game Boo in order to scan what was going on in the rooms. Just see Luigi's thoughts on things. See what Luigi would want. Even though he technically owned everything since it was his mansion. Hey, King Boo didn't deny that it was his mansion. Wait. Yeah, look how they're putting up wine posters for Luigi. Okay, come on. And boom. You guys to smack you with it. Smack you with your brother. Smack you with your comrade. Yeah, Luigi's just done with it. Luigi's just gonna start punching ghosts. Luigi is scrappy. He's Professor Oak's Luigi. He learned from Professor Oak how to fight, to fight against the creatures of the world with just your fists. Because it was shown that, because basically Professor Oak did technically invent the candy, the scrappy ability in the Pokemon world since basically just, he managed to, according to Pokemon lore, Professor Oak managed to defeat Ghost Ties with a Tauros. Okay. Or it was some other normal type, but still, it was basically one of those things where Professor Oak basically is going around actually defying type combinations, defying type matchups. Okay. Yeah, mess with this place. Come on, I want to yank off the cloth. Okay. And save time. Love how Polterbuck knows exactly where the items we need are located. And they just shove the dark light right in a safe. Oh, yeah. As if Luigi doesn't know how the dark light works. Luigi, you've used the dark light before. You know how it works. Yeah, Luigi was blocking out the memory of Luigi's Mansion 2. I don't know what Luigi's Mansion 2 is. There was never a Luigi's Mansion 2, Mario. Only Luigi's Mansion 1 and 3, Mario. Okay, grab the gold spider. Love that. Okay, more money, more problems. Yeah, that's what I love about this game. Unlimited dark light. Not having to mess with the whole, oh, hey, here's the dark light battery. Now you gotta get used to that. You gotta have to basically deal with that. Oh, that was, the, that was my least favorite part of Luigi's Mansion 2 because basically the game was based around the dark light, basically. And all, so many puzzles involved the dark light, and yet you had a limited dark light battery. I, under, I understand they didn't want you to spam it, but basically it was kind of odd how basically they just gave it such a short battery life, especially right at the start. Yeah, take all these posters down. We're not, don't worry, Luigi. You will not get caught by the law. Yeah, Luigi, what? You can't just 
squeeze through a door, Luigi. You just can't wriggle through it. You can't wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the game really is like, hey, you know, you don't know where to go. You have absolutely no idea of what you're supposed to do. Okay, let's free Egad. What if Luigi just halfway freed Egad halfway and basically he was half of his body was trapped in the painting? Ah! If it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the last person I expect to find here! Frankly, Luigi, I, I didn't expect you to come to a flat earth convention, Luigi. I didn't think that you were you were privy to the truth, Luigi. You know, imagine Egad, despite, despite basically his scientific background, him basically being very, very, a very big believer in every theory he sees online. Luigi, you want, you know, Luigi, since you're here, you want to be part of Boo Adam, Luigi? We've got some stuff going on. Do you, for example, did you know that the Mushroom Kingdom rigged the election, Luigi? We didn't have an election. Exactly, Luigi! We gotta storm the Mushroom Kingdom castle, Luigi! Hold on that thought! Now is the time to catch up! What matters is you'll do nicely, Luigi! Come on, Luigi! Get me out of here now! This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts! Let's make a run for it, Luigi! We'll flee to Canada, Luigi! We'll start a new life up there! No, 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 Mario. What was that? All of your friends have been captured. Well, too bad for them, Luigi. And you can't just abandon them here, you say? You're weak, Luigi. I thought you were strong, Luigi. You're just like the people all who diss my, all the haters who diss my blog, Luigi. You're the same as ever, I see. A bit of a handful. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gad, have an idea. First things first, Luigi. We have to get to my car. Will you take me there? It has all of my drugs in the trunk, Luigi. We need to get as high as possible, Luigi, to get through this adventure. Hey, the new Poltergeist G.O.R. you're wearing. You took down my car, right? Did you take the money out of my, out of my ashtray, Luigi? No. Good, because I know how much I have in there, Luigi. Zero cents. We've got to get back to the underground garage, Luigi. Let's go. Yeah, just let that Egad run. What the heck kind of run is that? It's like Egad is trying to basically pull a double D. <laughs> just that run, though. I swear, that could be a legit whore. Actually, no, I can see why Twitch would classify this game as a horror game. I mean, imagine just an entire game of Egad running after you. That would definitely be the stuff of horror. I mean, look at that face. It looks like he gets dying when he's running. Yeah, the way he get talks is hilarious. Well, Luigi, you're still alive? I run a theory that you died in the first Luigi's Mansion game. My pals never run, Luigi. Also the, normal, also, the normal ghost enemies in the first Luigi Mansion game were just more creepy than silly. They popped out of nowhere and jump-scared Luigi. Well, not to mention, well, basically, what else would you expect from ghost enemies that were painted by a ghost, the ghost of an artist who killed himself? I mean, frankly, it, it's pretty much assumed that Van Gore from Luigi's Mansion 1 is essentially based on Van Gogh. And basically, considering that how Van Gogh ended, how Van Gogh's life ended, basically... And how it was stated that go that basically Gore didn't sell a didn't sell a painting either. Just well, it can be assumed that well things didn't end exactly nice for him either. Hey, Luigi, take a look over there. You have a one poster. Good for you, Luigi. Now you're part of my crew. The elevator will get to the garage and into. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. Frankly, Egad, I don't think they want, even if the ghosts knew where you were, I don't think that they would want to find you with that run. Frankly, that run would probably terrify the ghosts more than any, more than anyone, really. Whoa. Hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money and lots of it. Even with all the danger, I'm still, I'm sure we agree that money is so important. Look, the ghosts have seen you interested in grabbing it. What? See that? What's the thing? You can't take it with you? Well, I definitely want it anyways. I love how based Egad is. He's like, Screw your friends, I've got money. 
<laughs> Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know, you know why your caption goes insane. Your friends, multitasking, Luigi. Yeah, I love just Egas priorities. Get money. Get money, flee the country. Oh, well, the surveyors removed all the elevator buttons. Damn it, I was going to see all of them before I left. Frankly, I could imagine Egad being the kind of guy where he goes to a hotel and he steals every amenity. He steals the soap. He steals the, the towels. He steals the pillows. He steals the batteries in the remote. He steals the, the screen of the television. If it isn't nailed down, he's taking it. What's going on here? A hmm. mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give that B1 button a push. Hmm. It didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on second floor, two floor with me. They must have been taken to one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means, yeah, we're gonna need those elevator buttons. That or we can take the stairs. I mean, frankly, I think this hotel would still try to follow safety guidelines. Though I could just imagine the Yelp reviews for this hotel. Frankly, King Boo does not know the forces he reckons with. Imagine if King Boo got some Yelpers coming in here, giving this hotel one star on Yelp. Then again, King Boo would probably just trap all the Yelpers in basically paintings. Yeah, little Luigi almost gets hit with a painting, and Egad's first instinct is to laugh at him. Yes, Egad, Luigi almost dies to a painting, and you're, you're here laughing. Okay, yeah, what about Egad has a jazzy lab theme this guy time around? Yeah, that ghost saw Egad's running. He saw Egad's running animation, he's terrified. I'm pretty sure that every concierge at a hotel is wanting to do this at least one point in their career. Basically, just crushing a guest with a suitcase. Yeah, just grab you. Okay, boom. Yeah, just take that. Like I said, I love just the aspect of just crushing these ghosts with just brute force. No subtlety whatsoever. Okay, yeah, he picks up the suitcase. Throws it, come on, throw that suitcase. Okay, and we win. Okay, nice. And boom. Yeah, like, I love how all the ghosts have their own unique animation with going into the vacuum. It really helps add a lot of character to them. Yes, yeah, the first and fifth floors. Ha ha! Those are definitely the elevator buttons! I wonder how much I can get to get for them! On the market, Luigi! I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them! Who else would have taken them? You? Yeah, watch how it's revealed. E yeah, you open up Egat's. You look in Egat's pockets. He has five elevator buttons right there. Hmm. But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the buttons. No matter. Let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting that I want to show you, Luigi. It's the body of a dead hooker. I killed her last week, Luigi. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, you got that it's a nuclear reactor in the in this in the parking garage. Somewhere, Luigi, it's gonna be over. Oh, it's gonna be over very soon, Luigi. We'll be out of our misery. And then, boom! Just Ega takes down the entire, the entire hotel. <laughs> Behold, Luigi! Welcome to my gamer den. Game Into the gamer den, Luigi. That's why, Luigi, I like my dad's chair from the last game so much that I went with it here. <laughs> Mark to my lab, Luigi. This is another one of my brilliant inventions, a portable laboratory. That way, I can always evade the IRS, Luigi. It's story safe and air conditioned, and not to mention IRS proof. I always knew I'd need this one day. Good thing I brought it along with me, right? Hmm. You want to know what I'm doing in this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, when I was told that there was a flat earther convention here, I came here and there was no flat earther convention, Luigi. I was tricked! Those damn round earthers have fooled me, Luigi! I got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said that they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. I was gonna trade my ghosts with them, like train girls, Luigi. I was gonna get a stripper ghost in exchange for my suicidal portrait ghost. Yeah, yeah, I can just imagine. You got trading Van Gore for a stripper ghost. No self respecting ghost reacher would pass upon such an appealing author, offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. I, I know how you feel, Luigi. They captured me and took my purchased ghost collection. Ah, this includes all the ghosts you'd worked hard to get from me before. Though, oddly enough, basically, we don't see any repeat ghosts. <laughs> Even King Boo, Lord, losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. Yeah, now I can imagine just Ega just, he basically does all these unsavory internet search results in front of King Boo's portraits. Huh? What? They released King Boo? Hmm? No! He knows my internet history. He's gonna tell everyone about it. Ah, that hotel owner, what's she done? Luigi, you are our only hope against all odds without any hesitation, and at all any cost, you must avoid it. You must prevent my internet history from getting out, Luigi. I could get arrested for the stuff I've been searching up. Get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you collected so far? All three of them. Okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you have a good night too, Chitanda. All right, keep on getting those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab, Luigi. I need your money. I'll set up the gallery so that you can view the ghost you captured. Oh. Hmm, what's that? What's that look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you'll need to explore the hotel. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. It's a rock, Luigi. I call it the virtual boo. Eevee for short. <laughs> it's a state of the art virtual reality device made with a fancy red screen. Really kind of stuff. It'll give you a headache after three minutes of looking at it, it, Luigi. Yeah, I can just imagine Luigi looks into the virtual boo. His eyesight is forever ruined. Luigi can never see properly again. I can only see ready God. Oh, minor side effect. Good thing I designed that NDA, Luigi. You're not escaping me. The NDA is the greatest thing ever, Luigi. Wouldn't you agree? Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. I'll fly off the shelves. <laughs> and then I'll fly back on the shelves into the return counter. Yeah, just... Yeah, just EGAD, EGAD mastermind the virtual boy. Seriously, EGAD, I swear, EGAD is turning into more and more of a villain. He's gonna become the villain of Luigi's Mansion 4 where he sells Luigi for $5. You can use the VP to communicate with me at any time, Luigi. And I'll tell you all my theories. Heh, maybe we can test out the communication system later. I'll tell you about the approaching storm, Luigi. Press the pause button to look at your VB. It'll display your current objective for you too. It's quite useful. 
Oh, and I have one more thing to give you. It's a flashlight, Luigi! My high-tech flashlight! Made of the softest flash, Luigi. The very first thing you need to do is install this elevator track inside the elevator for me, okay? It's a secure camera we can use to spy on all the women! As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on and get installed! Yeah, really, just watch how it's just a security camera that he gets out so he can spy on anyone going to the elevator. Head for the elevator, I'm carrying on Luigi. Okay, talk to Egad. Explore the hotel. Okay, let's go explore the hotel. Head on out. All kinds of fun in the hotel. We already went to this thing. So yeah, we can't do anything with the trunk. Yeah, Jack, Luigi, Jack, and yeah. I love how, I love how basically Egad, he can invent a portable laboratory, but yet he can't invest in a car with an actual trunk. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nothing with that, with that door. Nothing at our disposal there. Ah, money, money, money. Gotta get that money. Gotta get the precious lifeblood. Okay, nope. Just want to do a quick check. Just want to do a quick browse. Okay, come on. Get me out. Get me out. Okay. Did did what we could with that painting over there. Damn it, Luigi, what the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be giving me my money, Luigi. You better run, Luigi. You better run. I'll teach you down, Luigi. Okay. Yeah, put Egad's put Egad's camera in the elevator. Then it just explodes in the elevator and takes Luigi out. Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. It didn't explode. Now then, as to what this device actually does, well, it extracts map data from the about the floors from the elevator. Then it takes all that data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you take a look at take those elevator buttons? You can actually like insert them into the panel. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, look how this hotel has only one elevator. Now you're able to view the map of, the, of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map data is automatically sent to the VB, so you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can collect, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't go forget about it, okay? Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. And money, Luigi. Money is more important. Those buttons will let you reach new floors right for exp exploration. Oh, oh, and you might find your friends there. <laughs> One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to go to a, go to a quick test of the VB's communication system. Open the VB with plus and select the EGAT hotline. I'm going on you, Luigi. See that disturbing EGAT face? That is the, that, they say that is what you... That is the first, last thing you see before you die. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is Egad, resident genius. Am I going through line clear? Okay, in that case, let me tell you, Luigi. If you ever go to an exotic dance club, don't take your pants off. They don't like it, Luigi. That's how I got bad for the one of the four local ones near my house. I in fact, I'm on a list, Luigi. I can't move to a new town without updating the neighborhood. Find out to get appears that the VB's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this to contact me anytime you need to. If you really need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling, and you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my adventure was fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. Yeah, I'm sorry, that just strains my throat. 
So I'm really able to take the elevator up to the fifth floor now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. Don't touch my board now, Luigi! It's in my briefcase! There's a briefcase in my room! Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is Outblast, what was it? Uh, you got a map, you'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi! Try to come back alive! <laughs> I swear, just my... I swear, that voice is gonna destroy my throat. The RIP Sweets! The R.I.P. Sweets! Okay! Enjoy that elevator music. You know, they should have made it where there was an elevator remix of Luigi's Mansion 1 theme. That would have been pretty cool. Okay, way on the elevator. Waiting and sitting, sitting and waiting. Say your prayers, ghosties. I'll take you all down. Okay. Catchy theme. I just remembered something important. I neglected to mention the Baltimore G00 of yours is a new feature that I like to call Suction Shock. It'll work as a weapon for your own adventure. Use the Y button to fire a rubber plunger. You can stick it onto a flat, smooth surface. And if you use the Baltimore G00 to suck up the rope and then press the A button, you can tug on the edge of the ball off a powerful slam and break them. You should start shooting at things right away. Practice made perfect after all. Oh, and don't forget to get my briefcase, Luigi. <laughs> it contains my drugs, Luigi. Yeah, I love how Luigi can just brutally smash anything with this feature. It's insane just what Luigi can do. Boom! Just smash that trash can. Boom! Smash that suitcase. Luigi just smashes everyone. This couch? Can you put a plunger on it? Then, damn it, Luigi can smash it. Come on. Okay, Luigi can't smash the couch, but he, basically it's kind of inconsistent though about what Luigi can smash and what he can't smash. I mean, you'll see in a boss fight later on that Luigi's smashing capabilities are inconsistent to say the least. Okay, come on. Okay. Boom. Take down light fixture as well. Just take everything down. Okay. I, 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 yeah, really, and then Luigi. Damn it, I thought they thought they used the bad mugshot of me. I I wanted the mugshot of me getting kicked out of the Walmart last month. Robbing the vending machine, the greatest pastime in this hotel. Okay, take that off. Okay, come on. On that, in that plunger, good. Okay, nice. Let's first grab some money. I've grabbed that beautiful money. Head out to the window. Yeah, don't fall, Luigi. Siddle, siddle, siddle. Siddle, siddle, siddle. Siddle, siddle, siddle. Yeah, Luigi dies. Wow. Wow. Okay, no, that's not what we want. Yeah, can't take that plunger. Yeah. I think I can't but think that this was the inspiration for the Rabbit's Mario crossover. Just Luigi buying that plunger off. Don't fall, Luigi. Okay. Yes, bats in the belfry. 
Clan, this nice little corner for us. Okay, gotta beat the spiders. Okay, nice, get a heart. Okay, nice, all that money's ours. Claim it all, claim all the money. All the mun belongs to us. Wow. Okay. Let's get, suck this spider up. Okay, good, good. Okay. Yank. Yeah, just Luigi has no holds bars. Just boom. Wow. He's just gonna suck away all, he's just gonna yank off your wood. He's gonna just yank everything away. Okay. Give me the money, good, all oh, beautiful. Give me a pearl. There's a dollar bill, gotta grab it. It's my money, gotta grab it. I need my money and I want it now. Okay, oh, money for spiders, very good. Okay, nice. And I believe that there's a secret entrance in here. Or maybe not. Okay, this one there was a secret entrance. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, the ghosts of the laundry room. Golden mouse. Yes, Luigi has seen horrible things. He's not going to trust those ghosts handling his briefs. Yeah, imagine. Those ghosts know what Luigi's underwear looks like. They're going to hold that over his head forever. Okay, let's see what the window near the other treasure chest contained. Okay, we gave very good. Luigi, what take you so long? Get out of my room and get my briefcase! Good thing I turned up the EGAD hints. I know how to navigate EGAD. I wanted to actually just explore the place and have joy in my life. Is that so wrong? Okay. Just enjoy the scenery. We can't go back there because King Boo just flipped over the over, over that couch. Okay. Oh. The Haunted Janitorial Card of Doom. Okay, more ghosts, more balloons, more mess. Just suck up everything here. Everyone's luggage is ours. Okay. Can't blast the door off its hinges, unfortunately. Yes, Wrath of the Dust. Okay, let's take over. Let's just take this off. Yo, I would be freaking out too if there was a spider that big in a bathtub. I swear. Just the spider and I would be fighting for dominance of the bathtub. Just, I would be fighting hard and heavy with basically my classic spider tactics, fighting tactics. Such as my classic, where I'll take a disinfectant spray and I'll spray the spider. I'll disorient the spider and then I'll go in for the kill with a massive stomp. You know the kind of stomp where you raise your knee up at a 90 degree angle and then you just go full bore on the ground? It's like that. I swear, when I squish spiders, it's like something out of an anime. Heck, one time I squished a spider by taking a step ladder and then just smashing the spider like that one episode of SpongeBob where Sponge, where basically Patrick was just smashing SpongeBob over and over again with his rock. Oh, hey, Comey. Yeah, well, earlier in the stream, things weren't good because when I was basically talking, joking about how Luigi's Mansion technically wasn't a horror series, basically, I accidentally bumped my Switch, which caused it to disconnect from my OBS, which forced me to have to restart the stream from the start. So, yeah, basically, don't ever diss Luigi's Mansion for not being a horror game because otherwise, Luigi will strike you down in return. Yeah, as we apparently Yellow Toad locked it off. What mysteries are you hiding, Yellow Toad? The fact that they moved the briefcase to the bathtub. Yeah, and then watch how we go to Red Toad's room and we see something at some sort of scene like 
like something you'd see out of a beautiful mind. Toe just has all these pictures of Toe Dead on his wall, just with X, red X's through them, and the word hate, 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 written on the wall in red ink. And then you see all these red strings going from portrait to portrait. Okay, is that a toilet? Or are we seeing a Duchamp? Okay, let's try to smash this up. Whoa, Okay. Can't fight it, that one. 506, we go into Red Toad's room. Oh, oh my. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, just... Yeah, chances are that lamp in that lamp impaled into the chair. That was Toad. That was there. That golf club through the chair. That was that happened before the booze arrived to take Toad. Basically, he was practicing for Toadette. That's what I'm gonna do to her next week when she's demanding the alimony money. Yeah, I could easily imagine Toad committing committing a crime with basically just the golf clubs. I was in Mario Kart! Mario Golf, darn it! I know how to use a golf club! <laughs> it's the closest thing to a Mario Horror game we'll ever get. Actually, the closest thing we ever got to a Mario Horror game was the beta version of Luigi's Mansion 1, where basically, where it was like a darker version of Pikmin, where you had the timer, and if you failed, you basically got Don Corleone Luigi within the game over screen. Though I could just imagine just what it would be like if Luigi was actually in a in a legit horror game like Silent Hill or Resident Evil. Yeah, just Luigi in a Resident Evil game with Chris Redfield, and the, and basically in Chris telling Luigi how he has to get how how it's, he needs to get together with Claire in order to continue the Redfield bloodline, the Luigi the Luigi Mario Redfield bloodline. Come on, two goes for the price of one, baby. Come on. Okay, and nice. Come on, I want to brute force a ghost. I swear, that always feels so good when you just brute force a ghost, basically. Luigi and Luigi's Mansion 1 and 2. Oh, I'm going to let the ghost drag me around. And Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's just smashing those ghosts like the, like the Hulk. Could you get a move on, Luigi? You need to get up to my room and recover my briefcase. It contains my crack, Luigi. I can't operate without it, Luigi. My mind goes foggy. I love how Egat doesn't let you explore. Egat's just like, screw you. Okay, apparently just, yes, King Boo's plan. Send Luigi to a hotel. Also King Boo, don't have the hotel renovated. Yeah, I could just imagine King Boo learns about this from Helen Gravely. What do you mean the hotel isn't finished? I am trying to have an evil plan of revenge against Luigi, and here you are, just I incomplete hotel. There's a toilet on the ground, Helen. There's a toilet on the ground. They're going to notice, Helen. Okay, let's just smash something. Let's just smash. Come on. Boom. Yeah, I, I love how much of a bruiser Luigi is in this game. Just don't mess with Luigi, because basically he will end you. He will just smash you up. He'll smash up your up your stuff. He'll just launch a plunger at you and then just take you down. Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the whole origin behind why they did the Mario Rabbit series crossover. It's just Luigi, the rabbits use plungers. Luigi uses the plunger. So much in common between the two. Yeah, come on, I want to get the money. Wanna get that money? Oh, that beautiful, beautiful money. Chris knows Leon's the only true one for Claire. Yeah, though basically, but then again, I mean, Luigi has the all has the ability to win by doing absolutely nothing. So chances are, basically, if it, if there was ever a competition for Claire's heart, Luigi would win by just standing there. Yeah, now I'm imagining wow. some love triangle between basically Luigi, Cr Luigi, Leon, and Claire. Just this. And just Leon is trying to basically fulfill his goals of just pairing Claire up with Leon. And then while Luigi just comes by and steal and whisks Claire away at the end. Because frankly, what woman could resist the allures of Waluigi? Okay, yank off the curtain. Yeah, I just love how they have this door completely unlocked. Just rip off the wallpaper. 
Okay, yeah, can't escape me. Come on, come on. Go into the go into the vacuum. I'm spraying you with the vacuum. Come on. Okay, good. Okay, maybe you weren't. Okay, good. For saying that, I thought that bat wasn't gonna go in the vacuum. And then watch out, we get at least one more EGAD message telling us, hey, go to the room. EGAD is not a patient man. Damn it, Luigi, you can't use your math. Look at that exclamation mark. Damn it, Luigi, look what you've done. You've delayed it. Now this may just is gonna steal my truck briefcase, Luigi. Okay, let's go steal some stuff. And then he got, damn it, Luigi! Damn it, now I can't. Now my drugs are in some ghost body, Luigi! They're worthless now, Luigi! They're worthless! You steal all of Egad's stuff. Yeah, Egad's money potion. Egad has a literal money potion at his disposal. Okay, let's steal more of your money, Egad. Yeah, just we're stealing Egad's money. Egad wants us to focus on grabbing money, so we're gonna steal his money. Okay, this is the this is the telescope that I'm thinking of, the jump scare telescope, and the only thing that can really constitute basically the Mario games is being a horror. Luigi's Mansion 3 is being a horror game. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's grab all that wonderful, wonderful gold. Wonderful gold. Oh. Damn it, Luigi! What are you doing? What are you doing, Luigi? Uh, let this image be sent to your mind, Luigi, because you have found that you are going to die here, Luigi. Hey, sorry, Luigi. Sorry I was busy and I just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything, important? What's the size of my briefcase, Luigi? What? A ghost took me to go off with it? That won't do. That, no, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there. Get after her, Luigi. Kill her ass. Okay. Those ghosts are the kind of like the portrait ghosts, but they're not but they're not as creepy or cool. Plus you don't even put them in paintings and they don't even speak. Hey, at least it's better than Luigi's Mansion 2. Don't worry, this isn't isn't dark moon, so we guy won't disturb you every five seconds. Yeah, it's just this one part of the game. <laughs> yeah, I love how you can get jump scared by a ghost in this game. I know, come on. Yeah, at least we get speedy spirits back. 40, 20, boom. We just shattered him. He is dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, deader. Yeah, imagine your body gets smashed and then basically you're returned to just, and then just you're kept in Egad's lab for all eternity. A fate worse than death. A fate that you wouldn't wish upon your worst of enemies. Face. Ah. Yeah, I love how just the, the chest falls lightly on the ground and then just boom, just breaks. Okay, let's do this. Let's fight some more ghosties. Yeah, but so I have to say that Luigi's Mansion 3 has my personal favorite ghost combat in the series. Just because, well, Luigi's Mansion 1 did a pretty good job with basically the whole fishing mechanic. You can't deny that it is pretty fun to just start smashing ghosts with against other ghosts. And then basically just comboing off of them. Yeah, come on, boom. Yeah, when I first played this game, I actually was just smashing them as soon as I could. But then later on I learned, wait a minute, I could just keep on sucking them and then just I could start smashing them at the last second. Yeah which will allow me to defeat them all the faster. Okay, let's check Egad's bathroom. Frankly, I would have thought that I'd find more razors. You know, Egad comes off as the kind of guy where he would be just really into manscaping. What the heck, Egad, the guy who has a radio dedicated to just playing his own theme. Okay, no, there's Egad's manscaping kit. 
Okay, well, that mystery was solved. Oh my gosh, Egad really did do it. Egad killed a hooker and he put her under his mattress. Luigi, don't touch the, the call girl. Wow. Luigi, you won't like what's under that mattress, Luigi. Don't question me, Luigi. Don't question what I have under that mattress, Luigi. Yeah, frankly, if I would have seen that lump under Toad's mattress, I would have been going to town with the Toadette jokes. Okay, let's suck this off. Rob some of the secret money. Oh, loving that. Loving that money suction. It feels so satisfying when you're playing a Luigi's Mansion game and you're grabbing all of this money. Too bad they don't have the sort of money requirements in Luigi's Mansion 1. No, no come on. There we go. Yeah, this actually tricked me up the first time I did this because just I wasn't sure how to go about defeating this ghost. But then it's like, oh, hey, you just suck. You basically just smash her up with the with basically your with basically the with the plunger. Sorry about that. By the way, Luigi, here's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved automatically, Luigi. But it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door, so you get the idea. I'd say wait, wait, 10 seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep up the good work. Goodbye. Okay, well, thank you for telling us about the autosave game. Okay, nope. Okay, let's see if we can find you. Come on. Yeah, this this mission involves you just using the dark light to your advantage. Yeah, when I first did this though, I was just confused how to go about defeating this ghost. Okay, no, no lumber under Red Toad's mattress. Take away the joy from me. Take away my joy. Okay. Okay, she went over to the left. Thankfully, we can use the dark light to track her down. Don't waste your time searching every room. Look at, look at every looking crayon, Luigi. Turn ghostly behind traces of the air as they pass through. Use the dark light with X and check the wall for clues. That's what I'm doing, Egan. Yeah, I like how basically in the start of this game, they basically just go mad with the tutorials. Though, frankly, I feel that the game does pick up once you actually get to the first major boss. Okay, come on. No, I want to, I want to trap you. Come on, don't do this to me. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, no! Oh, come on, I want to grab your plunger. Yeah, just Luigi going full Street Fighter on this ghost. Okay. Let's see. Yep, you went into the next room. Yeah, at least this isn't like my first playthrough where it took me a good 20 minutes to figure out how to defeat this ghost. Just because I'm so used to the old logic of Luigi's Mansion games where it's like, oh, hey, you basically just suck up the ghost when you can actually just flash him. Come up. Yeah, getting my ass handed me by a ghost babe. Okay. Smack you down. 40, 20, and there we go. And inside. Yes, fires off with furious dusting. Luigi, you better not touch my drugs in that briefcase. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it seems that you've also acquired a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come back to the lab. I'll let you snort a line on the ghost on that one on that one concierge ghost. Yeah, just Luigi can blow a line of coke on the on the Van Gore painting. No, 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 on the Miss Petunia portrait. Basically, that's Egad's version of of snorting cocaine off a stripper's ass. 
You remember hating the sewer ghost in this game? I actually kind of like the sewer ga ghost. I like this. I like the theme of the of the boiler room. Just it has a really good vibe to it. Okay, let's head on down. Yeah, frankly, basically once you fight the Mozart ghost, the, after that the game starts to get really good. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Though basically for the for the first. For the first several floors, though, it does kind of get... Oh, yeah. The game does feel a bit slow, but it does pick up at the very least. Roots, it looks like we're going up the third floor now. Before you head there, bring my briefcase back to lab. I need it. Yeah, but really, it would have been cool if they would have had it in the elevators. You hear the, uh, an elevator version of the Luigi's Mansion 1 theme. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, just have some fun in the elevator. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, Tower wow. of Terror this stuff wow. up. Just Luigi launches himself up, getting a free falling experience. Okay, nope. Okay. Wait, can we just warp to the lab? No, we can't just go back to the lab. The game's preventing us. Not until later, that is our fate. Okay, back out into the parking garage. Okay, now we can actually do some more stuff, like going to the parking garage. Okay, uh, what was I pressing the X button on? Okay. Okay, come on. I'll break that thing down, come on. I can break it down. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Luigi just yanks a car and then just throws at the wall. Okay. You remember? Okay. Let's go back and get the power of Gooigi. Oh, right, right. Yeah, we have to wait for Gooigi. Welcome back, Luigi. My briefcase chopped up. Uh -huh. And just EGAD opens up and just a bunch Whoa. of cocaine, uh, and then just a bunch of baggies full of cocaine fall out. <laughs> this, this is why I want the time has come to use it in battle, Luigi. We're gonna get high off our asses. We're gonna be high like kites. I'm too old to be out chasing ghosts by myself. Rather than give up on my trusty ghost pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. This is a new drug, Luigi. I call it Liquid Ooze. Yes, Egag just jacks some slime from the Nickelodeon studio. The latest adventure from the, the brilliant mind of Professor Egag. I give you Gooigi. The, the development process was a real challenge, to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. I destroyed the space-time continuum, Luigi. That's why we had a remake of Luigi's Mansion 1 on the 3DS. Buy the remake, Luigi. Hmm. How is this gonna help? Nah, now nah, take it easy. Here, Luigi, I'm gonna attach this to the Poltergeist T.O.O. Turn around for me, would you? Okay, it's all set up. Luigi, let's practice it. Follow me outside. Now give me all your money, or I'll never let you out this cage. You're gonna die in that cage, Luigi. I'll try you in my trap, Luigi. Now give me your money, give me your wallet. Now don't worry, I'm just kidding. But I am gonna need you to stay locked up. Why, Grass? Because I want you to use my Luigi. Use Luigi to try escape for yourself. You can activate Luigi with the R button to recall him to his tank press R twice. Ta-da, behold! This is your very own personal assistant, Guruichi. Guruichi can slip through tight spaces like great events. His body's incredibly soft and valuable. It's quite amazing. Go on, see for yourself. Now I'm imagining some Guruichi horror movie, basically. Some Guruichi Terminator. Frankly, I'm surprised that there aren't any fan Mario games that basically use Guruichi as a horror method device because I mean look at Guigi he would been perfectly in a horror game as of as an enemy like think of a think of a basically a sax sort of enemy like you know sax from Metroid from Metroid Fusion I'm thinking something like that 
Not to mention, I mean, Guiji would have the death stare down. Here you go, he moves been basically the same way as you, so controlling him shouldn't take much getting used to. Oh, and that reminds me, pressing the R1 once while Guiji is active will let you switch between him and yourself, remember that. Yeah, Guiji can't handle the water. So yeah, I have to go around. Luigi, there's something I'd like for you to try out. Walk Guiji directly to me. I know it may sound like a silly quest, but hear me, all right? And follow my directions exactly. Okay. Yeah, I just fall in the water. <laughs> Guiji isn't even remotely wild for Luigi. If he gets wet and all, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful with him around anything wet. Okay, transfer Luigi's consciousness into Guiji. And... Okay. Come on. What the? I didn't even step in water! What is your plan, he dead? I didn't even step in the water! Okay, come on. <laughs> well done, Luigi. I feel like I can get let you run loose with Luigi. All right, we're done with your training, at least for now. Let's go back to the lab. Back to my game again, Luigi. Now, Luigi, out of curiosity, have you ever heard about Boo Annan? Nice work, Luigi. Very impressive, I must say. That reminds me of something I wanted to tell you. D Luigi, did you know that our world is flat? I've been writing the sensors in the lab, and they've detected the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, the ominous looking tower is very close to this very hotel. Luigi, I know that you really want to find all your missing friends, but if you want a break from that, you can always head to the tower. Go to the tower, Luigi. It's probably growing with ghosts that you can catch. Go on and test your skills there for science. I made arrangements so that you can just access the tower from the lab. Just select the scan scraper and multiplayer. Have fun! Okay. Yeah, you love the Virtual Boy. Okay, am I gonna play the first Luigi's Mansion game soon? I'll eventually play the first Luigi's Mansion game, but not now. Okay. You like, you love the Virtual Boy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and Egad's even boasting that it will fly off the shelves. Egad apparently did not know about the history of the Virtual Boy. And then basically, and then Egad sells the Virtual Boy, and then he just starts having to dish out refunds. Maybe that's why he has the mobile lab. So that way, basically, when he knows that he scammed the people properly, he can just move on to a different location. Okay. Even though Dark Moon was the worst in the trilogy, you think that's an enjoyable game. Yeah, exactly. I was actually mentioning that, talking about this with Ch with Chitanda earlier. We're basically just, yeah, just talking about how sad it was. Yeah, hopefully we don't have a, yeah, now I can just imagine J.K. Rowling goes to the funeral and then just starts retconning all of Hagrid's character moments. Hagrid was actually a possum that was standing on top of the shoulders of an orangutan and a trench coat. Oh, wait, I just remember something else. You can check out the screen park if you're feeling a little bit lonely and want to have some fun. It's for learning. You can find you can find hot singles in your area, Luigi. Up to eight people can play and compete with each other. Fun. <laughs> All right, you can get to a new floor now. Head to the elevator and take it to the third floor. Yeah, too bad we just can't warp to the elevator. Yeah, head to the title screen. Yeah, no shop, unfortunately. Not yet. Yeah, Egad, though I can kind of see why Egad wouldn't have his portraits in this game. Because, I mean, he'd have to bring the portraitificator device so that way he can actually trap him in the portraits. I mean, that thing was about a laundromat's worth of, worth of material, you know? Okay. Go on in with Guiji. Take the gem. Okay. Let's open the chest. Okay, nice. Grab all that material. Grab the pearl. Yeah, too bad the too bad the portrait ghosts in this game don't give out pearls. Okay, let's crack open that vent. With the goop plunger. No, don't stick on the wall, Guiji. 
Oh, come on, stupid controller. Okay, nice. The controller didn't get the best of me this time. Okay, nice crystal. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Let's see if we can slip through this. No, we cannot. Yeah, Guiji cannot just slip through the grates. Okay. Nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, where's the door? There's the door. Okay, might as well just grab another gem that I know the location of. Granted, I'm not gonna be grabbing every gem in this game. Because, well, it would because just it would require just backtracking and just searching around the place. And not to mention I don't feel the reward is all that worth it in the end. I'll grab a few gems, but I'm not gonna be going out of my way for them all. And then watch how I somehow end up collecting them all anyways. The game's just trying to make me look bad. Because that's always my luck where I'm like, oh, I'm not going to collect everything in this game. And then all of a sudden, boom, there you go. Everything is mine. Okay, something was... Okay, I think that was the fire extinguisher that was just going crazy right there. Yeah, just start smashing the wa the washing machine open. Just start gra yeah, grab it with basically our poltergust and with our plunger. And then just Luigi just yanks it above his head. Just... Luigi goes full Hulk Hogan with the washing machine. He just starts smashing it. Now imagine Luigi, he doesn't even take the vacuum to beat the ghost. He just grabs a washing machine and then just starts bludging their heads in with it. Okay, let's just go up to the stairs. Because I know that there is at least one, th there's at least one gem that we can get. Okay, let me up the stairs. Okay, nice. All right, yes, we have to basically go Luigi. And then just slip through these vents. Slip through the vent right here. Go in the vent. Luigi. Okay, there we go. Thankfully, Luigi is invincible. Okay, go into the thing. Thank you. Okay, got another gem we can get our hands on. Come on. Okay, boom. Okay, good. Got another Chaos Emerald. Yeah, Super Sonic Luigi. That's what we need. Just Super Sonic Luigi just going crazy. Just Luigi. I have gained the Mario. What's happening? I have gained the Chaos Emeralds, Mario. Okay. Come on, I wanted to grab that. Come on. Or maybe. Nope. Can't have fun there. Okay. Might as well do a little sequence breaking. Breaking. When I first did this game, it was actually kind of funny how I figured out just that how I came across a bit of a sequence break in that basically just, you can go into the kitchen early, you can go into the kitchen at this point in the game. You don't have to go to the third floor with Paul Blart, the mall cop. You can go straight to the dining area. The game's not stopping you, which is pretty fun. Yeah, literally, they put in Paul Blart in this game. Just, just Rotun ma Mall Cop, just in the in the hotel mall. Yeah, just really. Too bad they did not. Yeah, too bad they just didn't have more. Too bad they didn't give him a ghost segue. That would have been the ultimate thing for him. Just the ghost segue, and then basically just he's stopping Luigi the criminal. He actually manages to defeat Luigi. He becomes Luigi's most powerful enemy to date. Basically, Luigi has to go off against Paul Blart Cop five. The Paul Blart goes five times. You know, you know how in Luigi's Mansion two they have it where Polter Pup essentially gets out of the va the Polter Gust the va several times. And you have to basically go up against him on on number of occasions. I'm thinking of something like that, but basically with the Paul Blart Ghost. Can't read the menu, un unfortunately. Yeah, but still, this is a pretty nice restaurant area. Got, they have cheese, they have lobster, they have, they have fresh bread. 
Oh, but really, just the fact that they're not storing that baguette in a refrigerator at this time. Just, really, that's a waste. You know, that baguette's gonna go stale. Pies, desserts, that, that's a pretty good breakfast bar, I'd have to say. Better than some of the breakfast bars I've come across, where basically it's literally just, oh, hey, here's some, here's basically some kind bars and, and some cereal. And not even orange juice, just... I had to one time use an app, basically when I was on business travel one time, I actually had to rely on an apple juice that I bought at the hotel gift shop two days prior. Okay, let's break this exotic material, come on. Okay, wanna keep that all good, come on. Okay, come on. Ooh. Turn on the flames. Mm -hmm. Okay, pen. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, turn on the flames. Turn on the pilot lights. Okay, come on, why turn the pilot lights on? Yeah. Okay, Ooh. good. That literally fan the flames, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Let's open the fridge door. Okay, come on. Yeah, just rip open this, uh, open the door off its hinges. Yeah, we have a literal mammoth in the refrigerator, or rather a piranha. I'm sorry, an angler fish. Oh, right, right, right. We gotta go Gooigi. Okay. Yes, thank you, Gooigi. You have served your purpose well. Okay, Gem, thank you. Yes, you did do it, Luigi. You did it indeed. Just rip off and open another hinge off the door. Yeah, take all their food. Every last ounce of food we're taking. Okay, where's the fan? Okay. Okay, nice. Yes, roast the turkey. Okay, I could have sworn that you could have basically accessed the... You could have gotten this ghost early. I could have sworn that basically you could... Oh, right, right. I remember what it is. I remember now. You have to basically get defeat Paul Blart first, then you can come back for the ghost. Yeah, just I found it weird that you could access a future portrait ghost, and then basically you could access an area with a future portrait ghost, and then basically just... But first you have to go to Paul Blart's area. The game requires, the, the game really wants you to fight Paul Blart. Yeah, really, fight one of the most powerful characters in anime. Okay, let's go down the elevator. Okay, third floor. The, the hotel shops, the scariest part of the hotel, the gift shops with the overpriced items. You're buying an apple juice for $5. The Gordon Ramsay's ghost. That would be a legit scary ghost. He controls fire and then calls you a donkey. Out of curiosity, have you ever seen that video where Gordon Ramsay's made grilled cheese? Basically, just that was, I, I don't mean to sound insulting when I say this, but that was honestly one of the grossest looking gr grilled cheeses I had ever seen. I, I guess my tastes aren't refined enough to appreciate the, this, this 12 star Himalayan cheese go this Himalayan cheese grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, I can't go in there. Can't go in the ladies room. Yeah, the ladies room is out of order even though Helen Gravely who owns this hotel is a woman. So basically, how does Helen use the bathroom? I mean, why would the ghost have a bathroom if they don't use bathrooms? You know, it kind of makes me wonder how I mean, ghosts can technically eat in this game. Okay. Guigi, go in the hole. 
Yeah, Guigi's in the in the girls' bathroom. Hurrah. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't really deal with that thing yet. Okay, come on. Yeah, the Gordon Ramsay goes. Imagine if they had a Gordon Ramsay ghost in Luigi's Mansion 1. Basically, you know how they have the rumors of the Hunter ghost in Luigi's Mansion 1? We get the Gordon Ramsay ghost. We're basically, don't you draw, suck me up, you bloody donkey. Okay, come on. I want to blast this thing down. 90 HP and not 100. I know, basically. I, I know that when I first played this game. Just the fact that you can't get 100 HP. It's 99. We have 99 problems, but our health isn't one. If I, Guigi. Okay, come on. The doors are locked. So, you know what we do with locked doors? Yeah, imagine if someone was actually on the toilet. Luigi just yanks. Imagine, you're using the bathroom. You're just using the toilet. And then all of a sudden, Luigi just yanks the door, the stall door off its hinges. You're not safe. Now I am questioning things. Just why is there a balloon ghost in the toilet? Yeah, love how a velvet rope is capable of stopping Luigi's plunger of doom. Okay, let's go see Paul Blart. Let's go see Paul Blart, the ghost mall cop. Hmm. Huh? Come on, we need to see Paul Blart. Yeah, there he is. Actually, that's just Luigi. Yeah, Luigi's afraid of Paul Blart over here. Even though Paul Blart here is just as timid as Luigi. Okay, let's go take that key then. Yeah, we can't rip off that metal door. We can rip off every other metal door, but yet that is the one that we can't do. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We get that epic par B Paul Blart, those epic Paul Blart moves, I swear. Don't mess with this ghost. He will destroy you. I was about to say, if we couldn't go up the escalator while it's not moving... I I would be having a, I would basically be having several comments. The reason you see that? That security guard had an elevator button! You could kick his ass, Luigi. I mean, what? He's like Paul Blount. It looks like he went to the security office. Yeah, we can't rob this door just yet. Yes, bye bye. Okay, Luigi wants basically a Harry Potter style coffee. Basically, you ever notice how just some people when they order coffee, it's like they're they're chanting some incantation. Whereas for me, I don't even drink coffee. I, I, it's not anything of just an I'm better than coffee sort of thing. It's just like I don't like the taste or smell of coffee. Okay, out of curiosity, what's your view on coffee? Okay, let's take this vending machine. One coin. That's all we have. One dollar. Can we get one gold? One gold. Yeah, yeah, I, I know where you're coming from, basically. Like I said, just coffee to me just tastes so bitter. Even when it's loaded up with sugar and the like, just, I don't like that sort of taste. The closest thing I ever had to a coffee was basically a vanilla bean frappuccino from Starbucks, which is essentially a glorified milkshake. Whoa. Yeah, no offense if you like frappuccinos, basically, but just I just realized that after all these years, that it was more or less just a that it was more that it was basically just a, like a milkshake, you know. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we can't break this door down. We just can't rip it off its hinges, Luigi. For shame, Luigi. Let's see what Paul Bart's doing. Yeah, just Paul Blard just really getting into his material right there. Don't mess with Paul Blard over here. Okay, we know where Paul Blard is. We, now we just gotta get Paul Blard. I hope Luigi has been very helpful for you, Luigi. Use him, Luigi. Don't forget that he can move through tight spaces. Don't be afraid to use him. He, don't be afraid of the soulless gaze, Luigi. Okay, let's head into. I know Luigi about the the. I know the shape of the key. I am aware of it. Okay, let's go through this go this door. Come on. Thank you. Now. Okay. Unlock the cash register. Take the next key. Get your Luigi's Mansion one references. Okay, good, suck you up, boom, 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 love it, love that you can just combo these ghosts like no one's business. Yeah, but I like the jazzy mall cop music that they play, just really, just the ultimate Paul Blard reference. You just smash up the entire store with the ghost. This, yeah, I like it. I love how much of a bruiser Luigi is in this game. Just, it's, it's as if basically after two adventures, Luigi has been is finally fed up with basically all the stuff he's had to go through. So he's just smashing everything. Nothing is safe from Luigi's wrath in this game. Oh, come on, I wanted to smash the case. Come on. Okay, good. Boom! Yeah, Guiji may break it, but he's not buying it, darn it. Okay, no problem, Gomi. Good to see ya. I hope you have a good night. Okay. Give me the key. The lovely, lovely key. Okay, let's head out. Okay, I know that it was a heart key, so it'll probably be on the lower level. Okay, get right side. Okay, yes, take the key into the dress shop. Nice. Okay, take all their money. Take it all. Okay, let's see what's behind this, this door in the dressing room. Luigi the Creep. Ah, there you are. Okay. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Defeat that ghost. Even though we were technically at fault for that one. Okay, let's head in. Hack open this tech, this cash register. Okay, give me the key. Okay. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to deal with that bruiser ghost. Yeah, we're dealing with bruiser ghosts. Okay. Okay, let's head up. What is behind this area? Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? I need to get that other key. I need to get that diamond key. Where is the diamond key? Where is the diamond key? Okay. Let's break into this area. Can't break in, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see where it is. Okay, where did you go? Oh. 
Okay, anything? Ah, here we are. There we go. All that money, all for us. Okay, boom. Yeah, tell your friends. Tell your friends to see all your money. Yeah, Guiji can't die, so yeah. Unfortunately for you, your effects are for naught. Okay, there we go. Get the, get the spade key and let's grab the rest of this money, shall we? Okay, good, good, good. Very nice. Okay, give me the key. And let's go up here and grab the other one. Okay. Right over here. Good. Okay, those chairs are stacked securely. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's head inside. And our first example of basically these guys. Okay. Come on, take those balls. Nice. And next key. Okay, good. Got the got, I, okay. Got the club key. Cannot speak properly. And our first case is on glass ghosts. They're invincible. They're invincible to our glorious, our glorious flashlights. Got first stuck away their their glasses, and then you just flash them like normal. Okay. Yeah, I like how the vacuum thing actually changes for each area. That's pretty cool. Think that you can trap me? Okay, suck you guys up. Okay, come on. Give me your sunglasses and. Uh, he's actually outside the area. Hooray. Okay. Boom, boom, and bang. Okay. Very nice. Very wonderful. Okay. Let's get going. Grab that key. And let's head down to the final door. And then we'll be able to defeat the... We all defeat the Paul Blarkos. The L the escalators are now on. Oh no! We have convenience at our disposal! Whatever will we do? Okay, let's do this. Open it up. And there we go. Go in, Luigi. Okay, haunted scissors. Oh no, whatever will we do? They are going to haunt us, and we, they will be scary. Okay, let's find the cash register for this area. Okay. Right, right, right. There we go. Okay, let's take these guys. And we did it, hooray. Okay, there we go, the star key. We are a superstar now, we have a key. Okay, let's head out. Okay, kind of odd. Okay, gotta go and get the key. Okay. 
Aha, there we are. Get more of these guys. Come on. Nice. Come on. Okay, let's grab what's in here. More money. Hurrah. Okay, what's in here? Okay. Let's get going. Okay. Yeah, probably there's another one that we can get. Nope. Not another one. Okay, kind of odd that they were allowing me to take the key out earlier, though. Okay, regardless, I'll just take this key. And head on back up to the security office. Okay, fine. Yeah, come on, Luigi, get your exercise. You're almost at the top of the escalator, Luigi. Come on. What? Okay, Red Bruiser Ghost. Okay, just flash him. Okay, there we go. Okay, poo. There we go. Okay, come on. Reappear, reappear for me. Okay, no, come on. Ah, that hurt, that hurt. Okay, there we go, come on. And in you go. We won. Now let's just get up to that security office. He was quite aggressive on, wasn't he? I'm surprised you were able to catch him. Ega, I'm getting, I'm getting thrown away. Help! Give me a big help in my research now. Here with the good work, okay? <laughs> Don't mind the screams. Okay, let's head back to the security office. Okay. Can't blast that down, unfortunately. Okay. Now that we have this, we can actually take advantage. We can now just end this floor off. Hey, Paul Blur! Just that roll. That's how you know we're dealing with one of the most powerful characters in anime. Yeah, you'll be all wet behind the ears by the time he's done with you. Come on. What the heck? He's buys living Luigi. Come on. Don't use your epic moves on me, man. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, good, boom. Okay, one more round and we'll have him. Okay, there we go. Okay, boom, and we have him. Yeah, he just doesn't fit in the, in the vacuum because of just his rotund frame. Well, we can't jack his water gun. 
Yeah, one thing that I learned about this cutscene is that just, if you're playing this game co-op, basically, Luigi will actually be terrified of Guigi's sentience, because Guigi will actually be active while Luigi will be awake. So basically, it's not like Luigi's transferring his consciousness over to Guigi, like he does in the single player mode, which is legitimately frightening, considering that Guigi is sentient. Come on, give me some water. Speaking of which, I am in the mood for a drink of water. Yeah, check the surveillance screens. Yeah, good moment of celebration. Let's take his stuff. All his money. His rainy day fund is ours. And what's that in there? Some gold. Okay, we'll take that too. Okay, let's get out of here, shall we? Do, 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 do. We can't walk down the up escalator. No, we cannot walk up the down escalator. Up the up escalator, whoopee. Okay. No women's restroom. Let's head up. Like I said, I'm not collecting all the gems, so it's not a real big deal for me. Okay, head on in here. Oh, hi yeah. Ha ha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. oh yeah. Okay. Luruzu, the ever can thank you directly in the lobby check it floor. You might as well head that way and check it out, I say. Well, let's do that. We'll fight the Gordon Ramsay ghost. And then from there, we're all good. Missed the blotting line. Missed the blotting line wow. that was just commented. Whoa. 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 Come on. Wow. Blast yourself up, Luigi. Blast wow. yourself up. Taste my fumes. I will blast this entire... This entire escalator out. Elevator out. Yeah, pull up. Say, hey, go to the store. <laughs> That's this rancid fetid cheese. Okay, first off, let's go into the billiards, billiards room. Yes, the billiards room. Slim bang shot. Come on. Come on, why? Yes, grab all the balls. Force them into this one pocket. Come on. What the? I forced several balls in that pocket. Okay, I just saw a ball fall into that pocket, so I'm going to take advantage. Okay. Okay, come on. Into the billiards hole, come on. Grab that extra gold, nice. Okay, come on. Nice, there we go. Play billiards on the second floor. Take all the balls, they are ours now. Okay, more billiards balls. Okay, nice. Let us enjoy this. Take the chest. Take all the games. The game room is no longer fun. You don't get a game room. Not in this mansion. Not anymore. Whoa. Okay, there's a pig's ass on this wall. OK, 
Okay, can't grab that. Okay, let's smash this trash can. Always fun to smash the trash can. Boom. Okay. Let's search around. And now let's head off to the other room. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That door is blocked off, unfortunately. Let's go into this one. Let's see what this room has to offer us. Just another bathroom. Love how every bathroom is restricted. Okay. Rip the hinges off, the, rip these doors off. We'll cause more property damage. Okay, you keep reading the newspaper ghost. No, you don't. Okay, nice. And boom, 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 and boom. Okay, nice. Okay. Yes, bubbles in the toilet. That's what we want to see. Just bubbles overflowing from that toilet. Now I have more questions. Okay, why is there so much produce in this bathroom? Okay, nice. Okay, boom. Okay, is symmetry gonna work on our side this time around? Okay, bring you back, Luigi. Bring you back into the, the vacuum. And let's get moving. Let's get a move on, shall we? Walter Pup is waiting for us. The Walter Pup, he waits for us in the night. I don't know. Okay. Yes, Walter Pup, take all the bread. I don't blame you, Walter Pup. I'd be going right for that bread too. Good bread is always a delight. I like a good bread that is good for dipping. Oh no, they're enjoying the, the, the food. They're enjoying the cuisine. We gotta stop them. Yeah, just creeping around. You spilled good olive oil, Luigi. You spilled good olive oil. I would get angry too if Luigi, if so, I saw someone waste good olive oil. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, come on, no. Nice, nice, nice. Boom, love that. If it goes with the ghost slam, we get achievements. Yeah. Come on, no. Okay, good. Start sucking him up, start sucking him up. Okay, good, one, two, three. And boom, there we go, we won. We are victorious. Let's get out of here. Go into the kitchen where there's a fire going on. Okay, puff away all the smoke. Okay. Oh, 
someone put on a fan at the very least. Gather it along, Rudy. You need more power. This ghost looks oddly glossy. Yeah, Luigi's getting, Luigi just entered Hell's Kitchen. No! Kill Luigi with a, with a thing in your own kitchen. No, 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 come on. Oh crap, I'm gonna die in this kitchen. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, poo. away from you. No. I swear he seeks me out with this pen. Okay, no. Oh, crap. Get away, Luigi. Get away. Get away. No, no, get away, get away. Come on, no! Le poissons, le poissons. No, don't kill me with le poissons. No, come on, I want to smash you down, come on. No, oh, come on. No, Tertiary Controller. Okay, good, good. Okay, good. Okay, boom. Okay, good, good, good. No, I'm not going to the shadow room. Not going to the shadow room. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Run, Luigi, run! Don't get smacked with this pot of doom! This pan of doom, no! Come on, I hit him with- I hit his pan directly! I hit it directly! Come on, no! Yes, there we go! Okay, and we win! And inside you go! And we get another elevator button! Hurrah!
Okay, we were so close to dying there, and that was a little humiliating, to be honest. I swear, my controller's inability to go up re reliably is just going to be the death of me. Okay, let's suck this up. Don't give me nice things, of course. No, no, no. Aww. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Okay, put Luigi there. And then we'll head into the other room. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, come on, no. Okay, I know we gotta use the cheese. I know we gotta use the cheese to our advantage here. Okay, is that helping out? Or is that not helping us out? Okay. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Ah, there we go. Darn it. Okay, put cheese down here. There we are, we had to flash the mouse. Okay, thought we had to suck up the mouse. Nope. Ooh, yeah. I did it. <laughs> yeah, I had to pose, Luigi, I had to pose. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go grab another one. Okay, we got another mouse to defeat. This time, Luigi, don't pose with the gate. That's all you have to do. Joe, don't pose next to the gate. With the the gate? What what gate? I've gone truly insane at this point. Don't pose next to the gate, Luigi. Okay. Where are you, Mr. Mouse? Okay. Let's get going over here. Okay, into the billiards room. Okay. Oh my. Uh oh. There he is with our elevator button. Okay. I think we have to basically. I think we have to, yeah, yeah, I know what we have to do. Whoa. Slim Bang Shot makes his epic return. It would be cool if they would have had Slim Bang Shot make a return. I mean, basically, each guy was saying, oh, hey, the previous ghosts that you caught for me, Luigi, they've been freed. Yeah, so why not have it where Slim Bang Shot makes an epic return? Okay, boom. There we are. Wonderful. Where's the other ones? 
I'm hearing the music. Yeah, th well, I think you can beat me with billiards. I'll show you billiards. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, victory for us. Now let's take that sword that we dropped and play a little darts of our own. Okay. Nice, got another one. Okay, let's go in here. Okay. Just yank these lockers down. Just boom, we just eat a locker. Boom. Just yeet that entire thing. Just yeet it. Boom. Yeah, like I said, I love how just Luigi has just such feats of strength in this game. It's like he's the Mario equivalency of Heracles. Just move over, Wario. We got another bruiser in the Mario series. And his name is Luigi. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. Okay, where are you hiding in this bathroom? I'm behind the doors. Hiding where all the produce is? Nope, just with all the other mice. Okay, this time do not pose with it, Luigi. Yeah, that's a pose. Yeah, that's a pose, Luigi. You're cursing yeah. us. Yeah, what about Luigi had to do a double take to ensure that another mouse wouldn't just steal the button? Their ultimate tactic, steal the button from you every time you get the button. Okay. Let's go here. And time to go for our first major boss. And basically, once we defeat this boss, I think it would be a good time for us to end things off. But anyways, first off, boss. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have so many floors at our disposal already. Oh, yeah. Luigi, you're doing a great job. Why don't you make your way back to the lab, okay? There's something I want to tell you. See you soon, Luigi. Yeah, don't let me go to the next floor, you guy. Don't let me make progress with the game. You gotta give me tutorials and all kinds of stuff. Ugh, not to mention, I'm starting to feel a little tired. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can do something. Do, do, do. Okay, let's inside. Oh, Luigi, you're finally back, eh? You sure you shouldn't keep an old man waiting, now, especially an old man who can break your kneecaps with a baseball bat. I've been busy down here. The lab is almost fully operational. By the way, Luigi, you must be getting pretty good at exploring the hotel, am I right? Have you been sucking up stuff with the Poltergeist Zero? Your pockets must be fit to bursting with all the money you picked up out there. Fred, now I have the perfect solution to your cumbersome currency conundrum. You give it to me, Luigi. Just give it all to me! Drum roll, please. I'm ready to announce. <laughs> Professor Egon's shopping network is now up for business. Right here in the lab. Ta-da! I've talked about some rather useful items. They're all yours from my He. <laughs> Sorry, the shop's grand opening just this once. I'm here with a free gold bone. Come on, Luigi. Just select the gold bone to claim it. I don't want it. Gold bones are crowbars that give you a second wind if your health runs out. You'd be wise to keep a few on hand, so if you want more, you'll have to buy them. <laughs> God, I've got other items so feel free to browse. Oh, I almost forgot. I have one other matter to address while you're here. Luigi, could you turn around for a moment? I need to adjust your Poltergeist Zero. Oh. Hmm. And done. Um, I 
I just had a new feature in the Bones Against TRO. My research indicates the boos are hiding out in this hotel. I just had a feature up, you track them down. Don't worry about the details, I'll fill you in later. Well then, it, that's it for me. Get, get back to exploring the hotel, Luigi. Okay, explore the hotel. Let's go up to the next floor, shall we? Because I believe that our next floor is going to be our first major boss. Okay, let's head out. Yeah, don't let us leave, Egan. Hey, it looks like you've stumbled across a boo already. That's a sign that indicates there's a boo nearby. Let me explain in more detail. Where are those note cards? See, Guigi's body is made of a material I've dubbed Guru. Guru reacts to the frequency made by Boo. So if there's a Boo hiding nearby, the Guru will vibrate to indicate this. The closer you are to a Boo's location, the stronger the vibration will be. You'll definitely be able to tell when you're already close. Now it makes sense, Luigi? A strong vibration means a Boo's nearby. Okay, get there and catch a lot of Boo's. I'll start thinking about ways to best to organize them. Goodbye. Okay, might as well show this off just once. Yeah. Okay. Okay, where's that boo? I know the boo somewhere. No, it's somewhere nearby. Okay, no boo in that painting. He's probably moving around frequently. All around, all over the place. Okay, where are you, boo? That's one thing I don't like, just how the boos are just weirdly hidden. Whoa. They don't even tell you, oh, hey, here's how the boos are. You gotta shine your light on them. Or, oh, hey, you gotta suck in random locations. It's not like in Luigi's Mansion 1 where it's like, oh, hey, if there's a boo in the area, just suck on some objects until the boo is just gone. Until the boo is revealed. Okay. Any vibrations? Any vibrations, Luigi? Ah, here we are. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go right for the elevator. I'm just gonna go to the next floor. We don't have to capture any boosts. They're purely optional. Okay, fourth floor, the great stage. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really, really, really tired right now. Ah. Just had a pre-packed day. Okay. Yeah, I like the vibe of this floor. Very classy, very elegant. Egads, I'm calling you every three seconds. Hey, Luigi, if you find yourself needing to return to the lab quickly, I've got the best solution for you. I'll knock you out. I'll call me. I'll come to your location. I'll knock you with a baseball bat. I've streamlined a transfer system just for you. All you have to do is access the VB and select lab, and you'll be you'll be face to face in an instant. The system goes both the way through. When you're ready to go back to your adventures, the system will return you to the same place you left. And that's all. Keep trying. Keep the transfer system in mind while you're out there exploring. Okay. Remind me of my time playing the trumpet. Okay, first gem. 
Yes, blow that symbol around. Okay. Concession stand. Hey, I want some concessions. I want some popcorn. I will shatter your jar. Your jar will bend like the truth. Yeah, you like that? I smashed your sign. Your sign was powerless before me. Just Luigi just destroys your sign. Luigi destroys your sign first and asks questions never. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to money in this game, it's kind of pointless since it's more or less just for shopping, you know? Just buy some items from the store. Yeah, can't play those bio. Can't play those guitars. I'm ah, sorry. That's a cello or bass. It looks more like a cello, to be honest. Okay, I darn it. Curse you. Yeah, nice try, Geronimo. Yeah, okay. Now it's your turn. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay, go clear that area out. Nice. Yes, pop all that corn for me. Cause to explode. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's head back. See if we can crack into that other area. Okay, bathroom. Not a bathroom without us cracking somewhere. Break in, break into the vault. The concession stand vault. Okay, can't do that. We can go through that grate though. Okay, let's flush the toilet. Flush that toilet, flush that toilet. Okay, can't do anything there. Okay, nice thank you, Luigi. Suck that up. Okay. Can't blast that open. Okay. Let's get out of here. Go into the ladies' room. Okay. Come on, come in here, my spider. Come into my vacuum, said the thwomp to the spider. Okay. Just yank that bathroom solver, boom. And now I have many questions. Okay, I don't want to see what bursts out of that one. Oh, yeah, well, thankfully it was just money. It could have been something much worse and something much grosser. But it was not. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, let's go fight our first major boss. Okay, let's head out. Yes, the horrors. Toad is being forced to listen to piano music. Nice theater area. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Those seats look pretty decent. Fight you. Fight your ghost minions. The chairs. The 
brace of enemies. No, you're not getting me. Come on, bring it. Your chairs don't frighten me. Okay, no, you're not hitting me. Okay, good. Good. And another one. Okay, even more chairs. Just keep on throwing the chairs our way. Yes, because the chairs have been so successful in the past. Okay, no. Ah, dodge, dodge. Yeah, you ran out of chairs. Congratulations. I love how he's playing the ghost theme. He's playing the theme that's being used to capture his ghosts. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay. And boom, 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 boom. And another one. Okay, nice. Boom and boom. Get out of my theater. You are ruining my good porno music. I was going to make good swanky music for adult rated films. Yeah, Melody PMECO's relative is certainly white, charismatic. Yeah, essentially, meet the better version of the stair boss from Luigi's Mansion 2. Okay, just dodge the piano out. Sorry, sorry, forgot to jump it. Basically, he goes up there. He forces a bunch of bombs out. You have to blast a bomb into the, into the piano. And then you can see Louis, one of Luigi's greatest feats of strength. That's right. Single-handedly, Luigi's capable of just chugging a grand piano. <laughs> Luigi's going full Kratos here. Oh no, he's gonna choose his Mr. Hand tactics on us. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, he brings his piano back for another round. Ah! Okay, that hurt. Okay, first slam. Second slam. Third slam. One more slam, he's gonna be good probably. Yep. Okay, dodge that. Flash him, goes into his piano in coffin style, going full Dracula. And boom, bang shot. Yeah, I just can't get over this scene. Just yeet that piano, yeet it. That's what Luigi thinks of classical music. Ah, freaking touching me. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, come on, drag you back. Okay, boom, boom, nice. Okay, another round. Another round with the piano. Okay, one final round, we all good. Okay, nice. No. Oh, come on. Why do I keep being hit by that? 
I swear. And I am really sucking at this game. My skill has dissipated. It's gone, as if it was ever there to begin with. Okay, yeah, yeah. there we go. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, go back on stage. Come on, no! Come on, I was trying to hit you. There we go. One last time. The piano has one more life at its disposal. Yeah, it's that piano. Yeah, now what? Uh, you have no piano left. Just you, me, and the vacuum. The song of sucking sucks, 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 suck. Suck, 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 suck. Suck, 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 suck. And we win, hooray. Okay, another another button for the collection. <laughs> Couldn't have done that sooner, Polter Pup. Okay, let's get on head on stage and grab Toad's painting, or rather, just free Toad from the painting. Oh, thank God, Luigi! This room, I was getting horrible flashbacks of when Toadette would make me go to the opera with her. It was torture, Luigi! Yay. It looks like you must be your friends, Luigi. It's probably best if your friend stood with me here in the lab. You should take Toad to the elevator. I want popcorn, Luigi! You can't have popcorn, Toad. I want Slim Jims! You can't have Slim Jims either, Toad. I want... I want mints, Luigi. I want Thin Mints. I want your pepper and patty. You're not gonna stop me, Luigi. Is that wall... Is that wall broken? Yes, locking away your wonderful item. Okay, yeah. can't suck this away, unfortunately. Well, let's head back to the elevator, shall we? It's nearing three hours, so. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> bye bye. I see, two toads and Princess Peach. Oh, and your big brother, too. He's still captured. Seems like there's a bit more work to do, wouldn't you say? Well, good luck. Hehehe. <laughs> Ducky, bye-bye. Okay, let's head up to the next floor, and then we can end things off. Oh, hiya. Ha-ha. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, sixth floor, Castle McFrights. Okay, enjoy that wonderful elevator scenery. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 With this, I th with that, I think now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you came by to watch the stream. It was great having you, and I hope to see you next time. If you like the stream, consider following if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you next time. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I really appreciate that you took around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you're going for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.